Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. All right, so I want to make this uh, video on the pressure sensor uh, replacement. The, the issue that I had, um, I I don't know. I, I did a video on that and um, gave uh, some analysis of the issue and, and what I what kind of issues that I had with this. So this this vehicle's got 225,000 miles on it, and uh, in that last video, um, I don't know if you guys watched it or not, but I uh, <clears throat> recently uh, the uh, the pressure has been hovering around uh, the 20% mark, and I kept on getting a check engine light for that um, sensor reading. That's it says that the, the check engine light says that the sensor has issues or the reading is off, and normally when it's cooler out all right it'll it'll go to the it'll go closer to 40 percent like like when when it's cooler out when when it first starts up but when it warms up it stays about 20 percent <clears throat> so i thought it was the uh the uh the, the sensor that was the issue so i switched up uh twice one was not one was the non-oem on uh, unbranded one was the ac delco and it turned out that it was neither of those sensors that's what that was the issue all right the the sensors worked fine that wasn't the issue um so basically I I I um I I did a couple of things uh and uh, I actually mentioned that the uh dipstick that was in this vehicle was the wrong dipstick and the only time I had uh, the the first time I had issues with this because um I I I read the dipstick I thought it was the original dipstick and it read like it had no uh, engine oil so I put uh two more bottles of uh engine oil in the in in the um in the engine two more quarts and uh so originally when i changed out the engine oil myself i had six quarts and then one bottle of riceland engine treatment and that was like six and a half uh, adding two more bottles was <clears throat> would be eight and a half and 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 i think that's when i i started having that issue uh, in with 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 the check engine light for the low pressure and thing and uh since then i really didn't actually give much thought to what was causing it and uh thought that may have been just the um just the sensor itself replaced the sensor twice and then <laughs> am i repeating myself i get told a lot that i'm repeating myself but what the heck <clears throat> So anyway, um, it, it it got to the point where I changed out two sensors. I still was still getting the the, the, the light. Didn't have the dipstick. Uh, was I had the wrong dipstick, but didn't know at the time, and still didn't didn't know at the time like two days ago, three days ago. I'm gonna get a new dipstick. The dipstick that comes to this car. I'm gonna go to AutoZone and get it. Get a new a dipstick because that's really important. All these manufacturers that, that that are taking away the dipstick for the transmission, and then I don't know. I think I think most of these cars still most the most new cars still have the dipstick for the for the engine. But anyway, can't rely on these electronic stuff with the sensors and stuff like that. But what am I what am I what am I going on about right now? Uh, so um, about two days ago, I put in about uh, I don't know four more <coughs> bottles of. Uh, engine oil and I start, started getting that light more and more and more so I thought about it and I was like you know what uh, it's probably because it's overfilled because the, your, your original my original thought on this was it's underfilled it's low on oil and then I got to the point where I thought to myself it's overfilled there's too much oil in there so I did an oil change I did an oil change yesterday uh, and the oil that came out was dirty I didn't see any metal shavings. I didn't feel for metal shavings. I didn't, but it was dirty. It was dirty. All right. It was muddy. It, it, okay, I wouldn't say it was the consistency of mud. It was it was consistently oil, but it was brownish, uh, like like uh, brownish dirty. All right. It wasn't clear brownish dirty. It was brownish dirty. Um, so um, and uh, so I did that oil change and I put in six bottles, six quarts. This is what it what it says. It's six quarts. All right, six quarts and uh, one bottle of Riceland, and guess what, guys? Guess what? No more check engine light. No more check engine light. <clears throat> so, no, 
So I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it, do this for you. So when it idles, it idles at around, uh, it right, it idles uh, above four, four, forty percent. All right, haven't had that issue where it idles around twenty percent, it idles around forty percent. So um, I think the oil change did did this good. All right, changed up the oil filter. The oil changed. It, it's got the right level of oil uh, in the system. And uh, the oil change did it good. I'm going to get a dipstick. Make sure that this is an older vehicle of 225,000 miles on it. I'm sure it burns oil. And uh, got to check that oil every 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 uh, month or so. Just uh, every couple weeks, maybe every month or so just to make sure. But um, if, I, if, I, if I do get that light again, uh, the, uh, the 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 check engine light for for this issue and it hovers around 20%. Um, at, at this point, I probably know that it's probably in need of an oil change. So um, if you guys have that problem, um, I, I actually read up on it, seen a lot of people post a lot of stuff on um, on, on, on this issue and uh, got it fixed. Get your oil changed. Uh, it might fix your issue. Uh, it could be that the oil was dirty and the filter it wasn't it wasn't flowing through the system uh, right and it was and, and all that stuff. But it's a hot day. Uh, I'm about to get my AC fixed on this vehicle. I can't actually stay in and talk that much, but I uh, hope this has helped you guys out. If you guys have my own personal experiences with this, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. Please swipe. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. All right, guys, take care.